Hey guys, what's up? It's Blake here. And in this video, I want to talk about auctioning off items versus buy it now. On eBay, a lot of people are confused by if they should auction an item off or list it as buy it now. And there really is not a one size fits all answer. So instead of just talking about generalities, I'm going to go over three specific scenarios where I won auction things off at a dollar or a penny uh, versus auction them off at a higher price versus doing a buy it now listing because I have vague rules for all three of those that I think if I talk about them, you can apply them to your own business. Uh, if you like these kinds of videos, please, I encourage you subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. That really helps the channel out. And every Wednesday at noon Eastern time, I go live for an hour or two and answer your questions because I want you to make more money. So let's get into it now. When do I auction things off at a penny or 99 cents? I really haven't noticed a big difference in either of those. Sometimes I'll do a penny because it's fun. It's fun to see a lot of bids get bid up. Um, and you're going to have more bids on a one penny auction than a 99 cent auction. The amount of watchers you'll get, uh, the difference is negligible. I haven't seen a big difference in my experience. But here are the things that I will sell on auction at a very low price. It's sports cards, it's collectible cards, it's things where the demand outweighs the supply. I want bidders to get FOMO. I want them to bid it up. I want them to compete for this item because they're not sure when the next one's gonna come around. I've been recently auctioning off single low grade, I would call them sports cards and trading cards starting at below a dollar. And I've, I've gotten proportionally way more money off of the auctions than I have off of a buy it now. Like I sold a 2020 Tom Brady card for about 13 bucks on auction that was selling for about $8 buy it now. It went from six bucks to 13 bucks in the last like two minutes of the auction. So to me, clearly that was two or more bidders competing to have this item because they weren't sure uh, what the price would be tomorrow on buy it now listings. Is there a chance that you are triggering a increase in buy it now prices with your auction and you're inevitably making less money? Yeah, of course there is. Uh, but you know, don't count your eggs before they hatch, right? If you have a chance to make more money on an auction today than a buy it now listing, don't hold off because tomorrow it could be even higher. I mean, maybe you can, it's not my business, it's your business, but that's just what I would do. Uh, I would never auction off low demand items, right? Like a random polo shirt um, or a very esoteric Halloween album that might have 15 people who really want it, but only 15. I'm not going to do that because that's how auctions get sniped and you sell things for potentially way less than they might have otherwise gone for. Not many items should be auctioned off at a penny or a dollar. That really is not like a best strategy for everything unless you have a high quantity of items and you're just trying to get things out the door. If you're trying to maximize profits uh, and you can wait as long as you have to, I would recommend buy it now. And again, to figure out the buy it now price, all you're really doing is going to completed listings, check what the most recent sold prices were and using those to inform your pricing decision. Generally, I'm going above uh, maybe by 15 or 20% what the most recent sold listing was because the things that I have, I can hold for six months if I have to. And I'm trying to rise the market up, raise the market up, not rise the market up. Sometimes it's hard to talk, who knows? But what about in between these two things? There's cheap auctions that start off very low and there's buy it now that is not an auction at all. What about auctioning things off for a higher price? Uh, and in that case, what I do, it's a very rare that I do this, but I do do it occasionally when I have rare items that are in a pristine condition. So like a way better condition than anything else I've seen get listed. I don't know what they should be worth, but I do know they're worth at least this much. Oftentimes I find myself doing this with art or tools. Just that's what I find a lot of. So an example is I auctioned off, it was a die cast tool set. I don't know a lot about tools, uh, but I do know that when they're in immaculate condition, they're worth more. And these were dead stock, basically. So I put it at auction at 50 bucks, which was the lowest buy it now listing. Uh, no bids the first week, but a week later, it sold for $65. So that was a case right there where I didn't know what the market price was, but I knew it was at least 50 bucks. And it turns out there were two or three folks who wanted that. 
and are willing to pay a $15 premium over the last sale. Is there a chance I could have asked 80 bucks for it? Yes, absolutely. But I wasn't willing to take that risk. To me, it was more important that I sold the item uh, and having as an auction as opposed to buy it now just gave me a little bit of more upward mobility in terms of sale price. So that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Those are three cases when I auction off at a dollar or less than that. Uh, listed as buy it now or auction off at a higher price and let buyers compete based on how much they think it's worth. If you like this, again, thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.